The Book of Proverbs, Chapter 2 through 4. Moral Benefits of Wisdom, Proverbs, Chapter 2. My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, and if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver, and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He holds victory in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless, for he guards the course of the just and protects the ways of his faithful ones. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path for wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you wisdom will save you from the ways of wicked men from men whose words are perverse who leave the straight paths to walk in dark ways who delight in doing wrong and rejoice in the perverseness of evil whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways it will save you also from the adulteress. From the wayward wife with her seductive words, who has left the partner of her youth and ignored the covenant she cannot, and has ignored the covenant, excuse me, and ignored the covenant she made before God. For her house leads down to death and her paths to the spirits of the dead. None who go to her return or attain the path of life. Thus she will walk in the ways of good men and keep to the paths of the righteous. For the upright will live in the land and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land and the unfaithful will be torn from it. Proverbs chapter 3, Further Benefits of Wisdom My son, do not forget my teaching. But keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord your, with your wealth. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over the new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline. And do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those he loves. As a father, the son he delights in. Blessed is a man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand, are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Those who lay hold of her will be blessed. By wisdom, the Lord laid the earth's foundations. By understanding, he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge, the deep waters were divided, and the clouds let drop the dew. My son, preserve sound judgment and discernment. Do not let them out of your sight. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Have on, have no favor of sudden disaster. I'm sorry, have no fear of sudden disaster or the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being snared. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it. Do not say to your neighbor, come back later, I'll give it tomorrow, when you now have it with you. Do not plot 
harm against your neighbor who lives trustfully near you. Do not accuse a man for no reason when he has done you no harm. Do not envy a violent man or choose any of his ways. For the Lord detests a perverse man, but takes the upright into his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers, but gives grace to the humble. The wise inherit honor, but fools he holds up to shame. Proverbs chapter 4. Wisdom is supreme. Listen, my sons, to a father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. I give you sound learning, so do not forsake my teaching. When I was a boy in my father's house, still tender and an only child of my mother, he taught me and said, lay hold of my words with all your heart. Keep my commands and you will live. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget my words or swerve from them. Do not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Love her and she will watch over you. Wisdom is supreme, therefore get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding. Esteem her and she will exalt you. Embrace her and she will honor you. She will set a garland of grace on your head and present you with a crown of splendor. Listen, my son, accept what I say and the years of your life will be many. I guide you in the way of wisdom and lead you along straight paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hampered. When you run, you will not stumble. Hold on, hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well, for it is your life. Do not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn from it and go on your way, for they cannot sleep till they do evil. They are robbed of slumber till they make someone fall. They eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. The path of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn shining ever brighter to the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them. And health to a man's whole body. Above all else, Guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Put away perversity from your mouth. Keep corrupt talk from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Make level paths for your feet. Make level paths for your feet. And take only ways that are firm. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil.